Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kayleigh Allen and welcome to How in the World Do We Fix This Today? What do we do? How does it work? I don't know. This here, and I will appear in a moment, don't worry, this is Anthurium Crystallinum. I'm going to try and just sort of stand him here the best I can. He's not, oh, this is not tall enough. Good lord, I don't know what to put him on that's tall enough that you can see. Hang on, wait there, hold that thought. Right, it's just high enough to prove my point. Hang on then. <sighs> Oh god, I need to hydrate. Okay. If you didn't catch it in the last video, I'm very unwell, so we're doing a series of absolute chaotic reports because I'm really not up to doing <coughs> full-on videos. No, I don't have the C word. I checked. It's not. I'm just literally good old-fashioned ill, okay? So please bear with me over the next couple of weeks, maybe even just the next week, just till I get a little bit better. Uh, good things are coming. Found some really cool today. But anyway, so, this boy, he really is this big, by the way. I, can you tell? Like, that's my head. This is, like, this is no joke, okay? So why does he look like this? So this is my Anthurium Crystallinum. He's just regular form. He's the original Crystallinum, guys, that I brought to my flat in Manchester in, must be 2019, right? He's an old boy. He's a big boy. I don't know if you can tell. It's the size of my hand on the pot. He's not small. He's not small at all. And there's nothing really wrong with him. But why does he look like this? One moment, extra hydration. He looks like this. I may have, if you've seen my last video, you already know, so I'll whiz through. He's been sat upstairs in the studio on top of basically a set of shelves, some Ikea Vitzjo shelves. The bog standard uh, black or white shelves that nearly everybody has, right? You may have them at home, literally. You might be staring at one right now, okay? Tag me if you are, because I love them. So they've been, it's been sat on top of this, right? And the window, it's had blinds sort of closed at the top to sort of shield the light coming into all the plants. So they've been tipped down a little bit, which means the light, in effect, has been coming down at an angle. And when this has brought in new leaves, it's obviously correctly so. It's searched for the light when the leaves coming in. And as such, it's grown literally down over. And it's a big shame, because he's a nice big boy. But what we're left with is literally... I mean, I don't even know how I'm going to fix this. I can't really fix it. Um, I've tried to put it on the floor, point the light down with it and try and lift up the petioles. It ain't happening. I, I said this in the last video, but I, I don't believe, and I haven't had experience doing this, obviously. So if you want to leave a comment about this, let me know. But it would appear that Anthurium can't move themselves as easily and as quickly as things like Monstera. They're very good at moving around to fit. And Philodendron are fantastic at it, okay? Allocation move just too fast for anybody. But these guys, it, he's struggling. And it, honestly, I've had him on the floor for like... Oh, at least eight weeks, minimum eight weeks, and he's not done a damn thing. It's very sad. I've got loads of dud flowers that I don't think I got any yield out of because I don't think we cared at the time. This is a new piece of foliage coming in. I can see that it is foliage and not flower. Great, love that. This is probably going to fix itself. Great, great. See, you can't even see it in the frame. That's how ridiculous this is because at the moment I'm having to get this in the frame. So literally the aim today is probably just to try and repot it. I don't know why I'm trying to repot it because he's so big. But if you watched the last video I did, I sort of did a bit of a book cut on an Anthurium forgetii. He's actually in the background now. You probably can't see him though. Um, I'm going to probably try and do the same thing with him, but I'm so worried that I'm going to snap him. And he's so beautiful, guys. This is what everybody wants. Look at the hell the size of this. This is amazing. So I could probably live with this in my house because that's where I want him to go. I think he will look a bit stupid. I'm not gonna lie. He'll be on a shelf, but he's still gonna look stupid. Um, and obviously, hopefully, the next leaf will sort itself out. So I don't know how I'm going to do this one. I probably say that a lot, but I, I really... I don't know how I'm going to do this without really snapping this plant. So the first thing we have to do is take away this shitty little... Uh, does it qualify as a step ladder? Yeah, I guess it is. Um, take this away, take out the inner pot, try and get the pot on off, and just so gently lay this thing down. But I am terrified, guys. <coughs> I'm also probably having to edit out a lot of me coughing, so... And I probably need to drink a lot, because I feel like once you start coughing, you can't stop. Mm. So, first things first, I'm gonna take away the ladder, put that on the ground, and I'm gonna upturn the bucket again, that I tried to stand it on, but it wasn't enough. And we will try our hardest to get the inner pot out and just try and get the substrate off, all the while, without breaking it. Sound good? Because it doesn't to me. So, I'm gonna stand up. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Because it's not been sat on the floor at any point. Even upstairs, it's been sat on the coffee table, which is probably... It might even be this height, actually. The height of this stepladder. So it's not been sat on the floor. I'll move that out the way. That's my concern, look. If I do this, 
Is it gonna be a lot of stress on the petioles? Ugh, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Right, this one's fine, we'll use this one. So yeah, nervous, understatement of the bloody century. I'll not zoom you in until I manage to get this out. I suppose I could zoom you in a tiny bit, couldn't I? It's absolute chaos, can you tell? That I'll have to do there, I think. Hopefully it's in focus. Right, what I will do is take these skizzars, cut off the old flowers, because no one cares, they're going to get in my way. So we're going to take that off. That is ugly as hell. Great, okay. So then I'll take some of these off as well. We don't need them, we don't want them. This, oh, this, what is this? Oh, so we have tried to get flowers out of it. Uh, <clears throat> well, I don't know why that says anything, because it's nothing useful or anything to do with the crystallinum. What does it say? Studio minimal veins for Getty eye pollen. Oh, right, so it's been crossed with uh, essentially the dark form. I didn't write minimal veins, that'll be somebody else, because I just call it dark form. Um, I don't know if it's officially called dark form, by the way, but hey-ho. Right. Can you tell I'm procrastinating cutting all these off? Can you actually tell? Because I really am. Right, let's get the inner pot out. Oh good, straight out, straight out. Ooh. Oh, I hate it. He's such a big boy though, and actually his roots are at the bottom, so that's fun, isn't it? Oh God, this guy's guys. I don't like this. I don't, I don't. <sighs> Tell you what I'd like to do, because my little hands can't take it. If I rest that at least, try and manually sort of shift it, see what we're dealing with. Put that in there. I've got a bit of all the bark in there. I've obviously stuck it straight in from my house. Clearly, it's not been overly cleaned. But you know what? It's done great. So, <clears throat> right, hang on. I need to sit down a bit. <sighs> of all the chaotic repots I'm doing, this, this could take it, this one. I'll be honest, this could actually take it. Right. <sighs> Guys. <coughs> guys, guys, guys. It's wedged, so that's uh, that's a fun fact for y'all. There's roots all the way up to the top. I don't know how to loosen it off without seriously hurting it. I'll try and, I tell you what, I'll try and hug and pull. Oh my God, please. Oh my God, please, please, please. Oh shit. Oh, that's just not moving, guys. It's not moving. What am I gonna do? It's not moving and nothing's coming off either. It's like literally, it's like a surface level amount that's coming off it. Oh no, oh no, no. Like, what do you even do? What do you even do? There is no handbook for this shit. Oh my God. Um, honestly, say a prayer, say a prayer guys. Oh, it literally just roots all through it. God, if I can't butt cut this, we're gonna wish we never depotted this. I'll tell you something, I don't think this shit's going back in. Cause he's so big. Oh, God, probably snapping roots here. Scary, isn't it? I'm not talking cause I'm genuinely a bit perturbed. Right, a lot of the roots are stuck, so I'm trying to peel them. A lot of fresh ones as well. I've already fucking snapped that one. Right, breakage is clearly inevitable here. Oh my god, guys. When I say this is wedged, I mean it. I don't even know what to do. Right, I don't want to do this. If it looks intrusive as hell, it is. I can't do anything about it, guys. It's not going to come out if I don't do something. It's dry as well, so I don't think wetting it would make it much easier. You know, I don't want to hurt these new roots because if anything, they're going to be the ones that save it. They're just so, they've like grown stuck to the pot and you can tell because they don't come off. Oh, write a comment below if you've ever been in this scenario and tell me how horrific it was. Oh, and if anyone's going to say cut the pot, you can't. I've had that before on some previous videos. I think people don't realise that you can't cut these. <laughs> this is very strong plastic. No cutting will happen. Oh God, guys, I think I'm snapping it all. Just to give you some anxiety here. And I am pulling, by the way. Oh no, can you hear it? Oh, can you, can you, can you? I don't know what I want less. Broken foliage or broken bloody roots. I don't really want anything broken, but I'm kind of resigning myself to it now. 
but I cannot move this plant. Oh, sorry, I might get a bit breathy into the mic here. Oh, shit. I can't even move pond. There's like no pond to move. Oh, come on, every little helps. Oh, pray for me here, guys. If you can see how horrific this is. <sighs> Promise I'm not trying to kill this plant. Oh, hang on, we've got movement. Oh! Wow. That is the pond that is left. All of the rest of the pond. Holy shit. Guys, can you see this? <laughs> oh no. Right, so a gentle massage is in order. Oh god, if we can't butt cut this, guys, we are so screwed. Because I wouldn't say this was a small Elho pot, you know. I would say this was quite decent. I don't know what size it is. Does it say? Uh, 22 centimetres diameter, that would be. Um, so it's not small, you know. Oh god. Oh god, guys. Literally, it's like, where is the pawn? Hashtag save the pawn. Hashtag missing pawn. Hashtag... Search party for pawn. Hashtag don't neglect your plants. Relatable, I think so. Yeah. Now I'm slapping it. A little bit of not safe for work because I can't get <laughs> Guys, I can't get to it. I can't get to it. Oh no. It's just solid. But we have to get through this. This might be a long one today. It's fucking solid. Oh my god. How does this even survive? I've accepted already, by the way, that the sheer amount of breakage in here must be extreme because there's, there's no other way to do this. It's not happening. It's just going to have to heal itself. I think we can all agree at this point. This is... It's probably harrowing to watch. I apologise, guys, but it, it, honestly, I don't know what anyone expects me to do at this point. It's just... It's mattered. And just to repeat myself, no, I can't do a bigger pot. I don't have one. I really don't have one. Not a single one. Slap it, slap it, slap it, slap it. Oh, it's doing anything. Oh, I'll tell you what. Get a glass of wine and watch this video. X-rated. See, what is this? This is like a big lump. It's just... Like, it's solid. No. It's clearly loads of old. If you wonder what the brown shit is, it's orchid bark and it's from my house. It's my old aroid mixes in the middle of it. Don't ask how I was able to be that lazy. Don't even ask. I don't know. I've not even rinsed it or anything. Like, how lazy can you get? <sighs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Sorry, guys. My methods have become a little bit unorthodox. It's got to be said. I'm going to have to just snap it, guys. There's, there's no... <sighs> wow. Just wow. Oh man, literally impossible. You can't get in that without snapping it. You just can't. So we're gonna snap it. So sorry guys, I am really, really sorry. This must be shit to watch, but we're doing it. I can't have this, it's too big anyway. Never do this with plants by the way. This is just not something anyone wants to do. People spend years trying to get roots like this on plants. Don't do what I'm doing. Bad, bad things. Like, where is even the base of this plant at? Good Lord, like, does it keep on going? Is that why it's solid? Jesus Christ, this is years old. Bless it. I suppose it should have roots like this for years old. Probably should have even more root. Who knows? So now I've started ripping it. I kind of have to continue ripping it. Right, we're nearly at the middle. I promise you guys, this will recover. I'm going to put some root boost in it and it's it's going to be okay. I know this is literally probably the worst thing I could show you on camera. I appreciate that. But this cannot be the way it is. This is absolutely insane. This is like if houseplants could have dreadlocks, that's essentially what's going on here. Oh my God. So bad. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. How many have clicked off already? I bet. I get done for plant abuse. 
But I want to keep that because it's from a high up aerial root and it's good. There's a couple here that are. I don't want to get rid of that. Oh my God. I just have to pull some. Right, this is better. I don't want to even show you how much is in this bucket. I hope you can't see. Half the bloody plant. And the problem I've got is, and I, I am aware I have this problem, because I've snapped so many, there'll be loads of snap roots in here that I don't know are snapped. And they're going to rot. And it's a problem. But I don't know what I can realistically do. I'm now pulling them super, super gently. So I can see what is actually coming off. <sighs> Guys, I feel really sad that I've had to do that. I really do. But I, I promise you, that shit couldn't go on like that. Right, I don't even think I need to cut this now because it's so, you know, reduced. Just to, so everyone can genuinely hate me, right? Let me put this down a sec. Gently so. As gently as you can put something like that down, okay? That's how much root's in here. Now, I sincerely apologize for the complete and utter horror show I've just made you watch. But I need you to understand I couldn't, I can't, I can't live like that. It, I don't have a pot big enough. And on the shelf, because it's self-watering, the shelf can only support so much weight, okay? And that's just not it. So it is shit. The plant will live. It'll be fine. If, hey, if it drops leaves, great. I need them gone anyway. We're going to be okay. And you know what? If he gets really big and he grows up with, then I will put him on his own stand on the floor and he can look sexy, right? But that will still be in a few months. So he will come back. Please don't hate me. <laughs> Oh, I put that in there, I shouldn't have done that. So, I don't know what to do with that substrate, because it's not that pony, actually. Let me put that in there. You can see it, I know I'm covered in crap now. It's a lot of soil, what did I do? Did I do this on camera? If, if you know if I did, let me know. Um, I must have, I probably did it in my old flat. It'd be a really old repot video. It could even be in 2020. Um, although maybe, uh, would I have? No, maybe it's later than that. I don't know. But if you know, let me know because, Jesus, I don't remember doing it and I don't know what it looked like when I did it, but I know this this plant has been loved for a long time and I do intend to look after him. Um, and I do realise I have just completely massacred him. So, again, leave whatever hate comments you wish, but it had to be done. Right. So, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. I could really do with wiping my nose. Two seconds, guys. For the sake of the video, I'm going to bring a bucket of fresh pond. It's not that I'm not going to use that pond. I just think I need to sort of keep it somewhere. I mean, even now, by the way, to put the plant in this pot, it's still a big ask. Like, it's still pretty much the size of the pot. So it's probably like the, the maximum amount of root I could have had. Oh, God. Honestly, I hope it's all right, you know. Just gently sort of tease it like it's hair. A bit more coming off. I'd rather it came off now <laughs> than come off in the pot, do you know what I mean? Oh, a bit more. Love it, love it, love it. Good, 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 good. That'll do. That will do. Home stretch, home stretch. So, one can go there. Put a little bit of pond in the bottom. Like so. Oh, try not to spill it everywhere. It's my last bucket of pond, I'll have you know. Yes, indeedy. Right, I won't do too much more than that. I would like to plant it down a bit, Ew. just so that I can one day henceforth butt cut this so it's not as bad, or at least help the roots out that are growing. So I, I promise you I am trying with this foliage, guys. It's really difficult. So even now, I hope you can, can you see. Mm, hang on. Even now, it's still a shit ton of root. Right, let's just put that there. Oh, old rot. Well, it's not rot, it's fully dried out. God, Kelly, you can't just call everything rot. It's not rot. So the new aerials, love that. They've gone down and they, be, they will be planted. So now, we have to fill it in. Like so. Bosh. I think I owe it to you guys to make this guy go in a bigger pot next time. Uh, when I do this, and I will, we'll probably have to lose the lower foliage eventually, get him growing upwards nice and big, and then we'll, we'll put him in his own thing and he can have his own display stand. How does that sound? Does that sound like a good, a good bargain for what I've done? Nothing can redeem what I have done, but I think that is a start, don't you? Don't you? Well, that's probably about it. I don't want to push it down too much. That's about it. Now the problem is, 
the bloody outer part, I've gone and put all the bloody roots in it. So I'm gonna have to just <laughs> put that there. One second. Where's my sweeping brush gone? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Uh, there it is. Oh God, that's so bad, isn't it? How bad is that? I am sorry, guys. I know everyone goes at me for apologising, right? But I think this this is a time, guys, where it's completely valid. I'm sure you can agree. Absolutely valid apologies here. Because that is not really how you repot a house plant. Because that is just... It's just bad. It's just bad form. Right, so... Do not do what I have done. Just push that in there. Right, so I'm probably going to bring back the good old stepladder. Really quick. Oh my god. How's he alive, honestly? We will have to zoom out. Bosh. And pick him up. We'll see what he's, what he's up to. My issue, right, is that this is a bit shit, right? Don't like it. A bit crap. However, I think you can already immediately notice if I cut this, the rest of the plant's gonna look real weird. So I might have to leave it on. There's not a lot I can really do. I could try and sort of trim it down. I just, uh, I don't know. Should we try and trim it a bit? I don't really advocate doing this, but see, he's, he's got some there. I don't even know if that's rust. It just looks like a completely dried out patch, to be honest. So I don't know. Maybe he just has to look like this for a little bit, guys, till a new leaf comes through. But obviously, again, new leaf is at the top here. Can't even see it. Hang on. The new leaf is actually coming in here, so he should be fine. Um, but I think maybe he just needs to... Maybe, guys, maybe this is just him. Do you know what I mean? Um, if you've got any tips for essentially making him grow up towards the light, they're great. But I promise you, I've literally had him on the floor with a window that's like full frontal window pointing at him for a long time and he's just not come up. I can't obviously stay come up. This is too rigid, it'll snap. I think this is him. I really think this is him until he grows up again, which I'm hoping to fix. Um, there's, there's really not a lot I can do here. I think this is, as I say, this is how he is. But I think, <sighs> do I move him to my house today or not? I reserve that decision-making tool before I go home today. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I mean, it will kind of, in a way, it'll look pretty sick on a shelf because he's sort of built to sort of hang, but I don't know whether he should look like that, you know what I mean? So we'll see. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this. I do apologise for how I've just treated this plant. I absolutely don't advocate it. It's got to be life or death literally um and i guess that's what this was honestly he's beautiful he will be okay look he's fine he's gonna be okay he's gonna be okay I'm gonna put root boost in him we will repot this in a while anyway guys thank you very much for watching this video if you want to see any of my merch link is in the description my feed is also in the description and my socials are on the screen right now uh, that's it for this week's video and i will see you in the next one where hopefully i absolutely do not do this to another root system bye